video today is the Action Grip. Um, you can get some expensive ones, you can get some cheap ones. Um, I'm going for the cheap stuff uh, purely because it does what I need it to do. I don't need to have expensive labels on everything. Uh, I'll unwrap this and I'll be back. Okay, so there it is. Um, so what would you use this for? Well, it, it stabilizes for smooth shots. Um, it's got a fair bit of usage. Look them up online, because um, I can make another video on that. But I just want to go over this one. Uh, firstly, you've got a mount here, which you can use for a flash or a light. And then you've got this little contraption here, which actually slides around a bit, which is where you'll mount your camera. As you can see here, it's fairly adaptable. There's different slots, because obviously, if you've got different lenses on there, maybe you don't want the camera sliding, sticking out too far forward, etc. Um, you adapt it to suit your camera, and it's got these little skids on it. But let's mount the camera, see how it goes. Okay, so something to be aware of is the actual dimensions. As you can see here, I've got a radio mic on the top. Um, it's nearly as, well, it's higher than the handle, but also I have the extra battery pack, which basically means I could take the mic off and the camera would just about fit, but I'll strip the camera down just so you can see how it sits with a Canon DSLR. Okay, so I've, I've fitted the mic. Um, obviously, you wouldn't need the strap on there, you take that off. Like I said, this is just for. A brief look but it's fairly smooth it's a bit front heavy which is why it's worth adjusting the 